hello guys welcome to the channel i am beats by manuel and i welcome you especially to today's tutorial um the time is 2 43 a.m so um i couldn't sleep so i had to do this video for you guys um is a mixing breakdown for cubase users um before the whole process starts uh there's something i want to um, add up all right it's good that while, while recording um there are some things you need to do um, to make your vocals sound great all right so here are some tips you can try okay um when recording you want um the microphone to get just um the vocal details all right of your talent you don't want the microphone to um get background noises and stuff like that but most of the times Due to getting a loud um, takes, you increase your gain way too much, and your vocal and your microphone, sorry, start uh, catching and uh, frequencies. It's not supposed to catch from your vocal, from the background and stuff like that. But then, before um, you can have the confidence to do that, you need um, to have a three-day room, um, a quality microphone. You you're always going to use a compressor to bring back the gain. All right, you, there, are, there are ways to up your volumes and stuff like that. So make sure your um, gain level it's it's minimal. All right, your talent can go kind of not too close to the microphone, so you don't get the proximity effect. Um, your talent can just go just an inch further from um, the microphone, then speak like and then sing to your microphone. Then the gain knob should be minimal, like not too much. All right. You should check record and check you can just have two or three takes then check the audio if, if you're okay with it then you use it all right so we're gonna dive into um cubes right now and this uh, i'm just gonna mute this this is a different project i dragged in so i'm just gonna take this okay not take that away it's not meant for this so this project was actually recorded for the purpose of this tutorial so um, I just want to make it as fast as possible so let's start excuse me so right now I'm just gonna mute I'm gonna bypass all these plugins I'm gonna bypass them all I was a bit skeptical about using a compressor for this um, mix because um it was recorded in my home studio and it had some kind of background noises and stuff like that so um once you add the truth is that once you have noise in your um vocal once you start adding compressors and dynamic plugins those all all those elements start popping up on your face and then you start doing a lot to try and fix the vocal why not fix it during the recording stage well mixing is about your taste and what you want so i'm gonna play this vocal right now let's say she don't know me but now she way i just want it i swear you do me strong team oh my baby no they taunt me now your love way i just want it come baby no they for me if you no do just inform me if you no do just inform me if you no do just inform me it be so that's what the vocal sounds like so the first plugin right here is this um audio tune so my routine speed is about five and flex tune is about 10 humanize 62 um i've this kill um key and input type i've already fixed then the tracking it i turn it down so this is pretty much the whole settings all right so i'm gonna play right now uh, because of some reasons, I'm just going to be playing without the instrument out there, so you can definitely hear the um, actual changes this effect add to this vocal to this mix. So, here, yeah, really auto tune. If you let's say she don't know me, but now she way I just want it. I swear you do me strong, team. Oh, my baby, no, they taunt me. Now your love way I just want it. Come, baby. So, um, that's for the auto tune. Then I added um, a fab filter. Fab Fitter Pro Q to 
so this is doing kind of a mid range and low sweep i'm having negative 3 db of reduction right here just from this low to about 5k um there was this texture i wanted to gain from this vocal um this just achieves that um, motive for me so this might not work for you but you can try it so i'm gonna play and bypass so you can know what's happening right now they say she don't know me but now she way i just want it i swear you do me strong team oh my baby no they taunt me now your love way i just want it come baby no they for me so um it just sweeps from the lower end to the mid range and just cuts off some frequencies i did not want so yeah then i have the gate what this is doing is more like a um feeder like um intro fader and stuff like that that's what this is doing so um i'm just gonna increase the attack a little bit about 45 it's just so the attack so the vocal doesn't just hit it just comes slowly yeah acting like a fader so then i have x noise you know what x noise does but this time around i'm using it I'm, like i'm barely using it so it's all down so i'm gonna um, on bypass it right now so let's play say she don't know me but now she way i just want it i swear you do me strong team oh my baby no they taunt me now your love way i just want it come baby no they f the changes is purely noticeable but it's i don't i do not want to over um the noises vocal so you don't it doesn't kill the quality okay that's one of the things that you're supposed to know if you have noise in your vocal and you're trying to denoise you're killing the quality of the vocal so it's best if you fix it before recording so you can just add a minimal um just for um to fulfill all righteousness just add it there you know instead of trying to kill it it just makes your vocal sounds like it's underwater excuse me so that's it for the insert so um for um the group one but what i have here is um a fab filter again this time around i'm just doing low cut about 153 hertz and then frequencies that were bothering my vocal i took them out it's just, this is something you need to do you boost find those frequencies and then you break down so it's simple you know what this method is so yeah so then i have um c4 i'm not a big i'm not a big fan of calling the numbers but if you want to copy you can just copy the numbers you can see on the screen it's, it's fine all right i'm I, i'm a big fan of listening with my ears and know okay in order not to kill this quality the texture of the vocal i boosted before i compress the signals of these different bands so i i right now i boosted about 3 db of gain and then i compressed i boosted i compressed i boosted i compressed boosted again i compress so i don't lose the quality of the vocal that's the way I, I do it in my ears and I feel it okay, it's great. So I leave it like that. So you can pretty much copy the settings. I don't know how to start calling numbers for you. So I have to do chorus next and this is what the chorus looks like. So you can copy. But I also did this with my ears. Yeah, so I'm gonna play with and without say she don't know me but now she way i just want it i swear you do me strong team oh my baby no they taunt me now your love way i just want it yeah that's if you using a pair of uh, headphones you hear this very difference in mix so next i have a vocal writer and this is more like um a dynamic um controller all right so you need a um, vocal writer before your compressor because it's simple um you can just control the dynamics of um the vocal make it easy for your compressor to work all right so i'm using the module right in then i just so then i have a compressor going on here as you can see it's very simple i did not touch anything i just used the lead vox preset that's all so you can hear the noise coming out right that's one of the reasons why you definitely need to um record right so you don't have any of those noise 
background in your mix so let's see if we can fix that if it doesn't then we take it out they say she don't know me but now she way i just want it i swear you do me strong thing oh my baby no they talk you can hear it's just bothering the vocal and stuff like that so i'm not gonna use it so um that's all for this so i'm gonna play with the beat now they say she don't know me but now she way i just want it i swear you do me strong thing oh my baby no they taunt me now your love way i just want it so I'm supposed to like clean up this vocal, like from breaths and stuff like that, but you can do that in your um, your mix. But this is just a tutorial and I just wanted to show you what's happening right there. So so you can go in clean. Um, by the way, make sure you clean your vocals before trying to pitch correct. Because if you pitch correct before cleaning your vocals, then it's going to restore the default. Alright, so that's a tip you need to know. So because this vocal was sounding very sad, Alright, so I wanted to make it bright and stuff like that, so I'm gonna add fresh air. Let's say she don't know me, but now she way I just want it. I swear you do me strong thing. Oh my baby, no they taunt me. So I have mid air twenty um high air twenty. So after adding this you can notice how the high end is now so um catchy to your ears and that those are so unbearable so we're gonna bring those down with a fab filter and pro multiband compression so um what i'm using is the ds and hair house feature so let's hear what that is doing to this mix I say she don't know me but now she way i just want it i swear you do me strong thing um so you can see how it just takes out those high-end um, sibilances and stuff like that it controls them it doesn't take it out if you take them out a lot then it, your vocal can look so unnatural so you should just play with it and so i have suits going on here just to take the harshness a little bit out i'm not doing much just to the depth is just 2.0 so now we're, we're heading to effects so let's hear what this is sounding right now they say she don't know me, but now she way I just want it. I swear you do me strong thing. Oh my baby, no they taunt me. Now your love way I just want it. Come baby, no they for me. If you no do, just inform me. If you no do, just inform me. So um, the vocal is sounding like some word great at the moment. So now we're heading to effect. So now we want to add space to our vocal and want to add some kind of depth to this vocal so i'm supposed to be running the parallel compression but i did not do that so i'm gonna do a different tutorial for that so normally uh what most um qbs users will do is they will take um their sense from um your group channels and stuff like that but that is not in this case that's not what i did i took my sense from um, my inserts like my normal inserts so as you can see, I have my sense here. I have my, my plate reverb. I have my um, delay. I have my whole reverb, and then I have my and doubler for spreading of my vocal, this stereo enhancement of my vocal. So um, I'm gonna unmute this. So let's listen. They say she don't know me, but I swear I just want it. I swear you do me strong thing. Oh my baby, no they taunt me. So it's practically a plate reverb so these are the settings you can hear it so um you can invest in using um reverbcalculator.com put in your bpm calculator give you an estimate of what your reverb um size should be pre-delay decay time and total reverb should be so you should try this um yes then our next our next effect is um H delay. I have it on ping pong mode and these are the settings. And the next is my whole reverb. Our reverb, the most underrated reverb plugin ever. But it's still my best. I love this plugin. I have other best, but I'm using this best today. So the preset says plays reverb, but it's not actually play reverb. Actually whole reverb. And then I have the waves doubler going on right there. All I had to do was to use the doubler, um, doubler for voices. That's what I use. Doubler for voices. That's what I use. And I've sent all this. So here is what this vocal sounds like right now.
But now she way, I just want it. I swear you do me strong, T. Oh, my baby, no, they taunt me. Now your love way, I just want it. Come, baby, no, they for me. If you no do, just inform me. If you no do, just inform me. If you no do, just inform me. So now we're gonna play with the beat so you can get the whole vibe. Say she don't know me, but now she way I just want it. I swear you do me strong, T. Oh, my baby, no, they taunt me. Now your love way, I just want it. Come, baby, no, they for me. If you no do, just inform me. If you no do, just inform me. If you no do, just inform me. It be like, say, she don't jazz me. It be like, say, it be like, say, she don't jones me. It be like, say, it be like, say, I don't mind. I say I don't mind. It be like say I don't prize. So um, if I should go in depth to this mixing, I have to do a lot. But this can be a great starting point for you um to get your mix started. All right, this is sounding okay already. Depends on what you're listening to. The truth is that the simple truth is that if um, you have a good um microphone. And a good vocal space, like a treated room and a, um, a quiet place for recording, then this vocal um, will sound amazing. Just because um, the noise has now been attached to your vocal, so when you start adding plugins, it's like a glue to your vocal, so you can't take those out. So while you try, you can just kill the quality of the vocal, or which is not great. So we've come to the end of the video, guys. I hope you like this video. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have a um, comment um, for the question, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I will reply to them ASAP. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.